All right, today I want to show you something that is really strange that I keep coming across here, and I want to try and figure out what the explanation for it is. I've got this piece of stainless steel, and it's very thick, especially in the center part where there's no threads. And I got a lead on the outside right around where that center part is. And I'm going to show you something right now. I've got to turn off the camera to light the torch, but I'm going to show you what I've found. Okay, so all I'm going to be doing is putting the flame right into the center part like you see there. The only difference is, since I got that positive lead on the outside of the stainless steel, I'm going to be putting my negative lead right on the tip of my torch. And I am going to show you, I'm going to try and hold the camera so all you can see is the meter. And one more thing I forgot to mention before I continue this video. Uh, I did take that stainless steel piece and insulate it from the any metal around it. I had it on a wooden table the first time we tried this and it was the exact same reading as what you get in the vise. So uh, just in case anybody's wondering that. Okay. So I'll have to put up with this for a sec. This is the best I can do. But now you can see the meter. I showed you where the leads are going and watch this. The jumping that you're seeing is the flame trying to get on a perfect spot. Now I'm pretty close to the center. Okay, so here we go. We're going to try this one time. Hopefully the hose doesn't get in the way of the meter. There you go. As you can see, you get about 1.4 volts. I can't hold it there very long. But uh, for some reason I'm getting a voltage. DC or AC, it doesn't matter. As long as the positive lead is on the metal and the negative lead is on the tip of the torch, I can create over a volt constantly. Um, and I don't understand why. I thought at first it was something to do with heat. So I wasn't too excited, so I took my acetylene torch, tried the same thing, and I get nothing on the meter. It doesn't jump at all. So it's not just a heat thing. Uh, there's something weird about this gas. There must be free electrons flying around that it's grabbing in there or something. I'm not sure. But if anybody's got any clue what this weird anomaly is and why we're able to get over a volt of power, uh, just by applying the torch here. If anybody's got any idea, please let me know. I'm very curious. This is one of the neatest things I've seen with HHO yet. And I'd like to understand more about it. I noticed the thicker the metal that I use, the higher the voltage I get. So that's the only thing I've found so far. I haven't found uh, one metal to be better than another yet. But the thicker the metal is, the higher the voltage. So if anybody's got a really thick piece of stainless steel or copper, try that and let me know what happens because uh, this is about the thickest piece I have right now I'm gonna try and get something bigger in the future but very very intrigued by that it's very neat anyway please let me know Starting out. all right I got some help now so you can actually be able to watch the torch yep. going in and then you'll see the meter so touch the outside of the steel there. Look at that, 1.6, 1.7, 2 volts, that's the highest I've got so far. 1.8, 1.9, look at that man. 1.6 volts, somebody tell me what the hell's going on. That's all I want to know.